Hello everyone, Does Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to Minecraft! And if you can see in my hand, I got a fresh new iron sword here, ready for action. And I have a bow and arrow in my hands too, that was, I got that bow from last time. And I made some more armor off camera, and I patched up my house a little bit, as you can see, the windows are finally in place. And I'm all ready to go. Ready to set on my adventure. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm going into a cave and exploring the everything. I'm going to try to find as many resources as possible. But before I go, I do want to make more stone tools since the ones I currently have are almost broken. I don't need a new axe. I definitely don't need a new axe, but I need a new everything else. And that everything else is pretty important. So, first let me craft some sticks. Like so. First, let me make my pickaxe. Now, let me make a shovel. There we go. And now I have my spare tools ready. Put this stuff right there. And boom, we're ready to set off. And hopefully, the game isn't as weird and glitchy as last time. We actually get a proper episode of of us exploring a cave and. Mining the resources just like a traditional Minecraft player. I want an ordinary episode, and here's the cave. We went here a bit last time, but we didn't explore everything. I set up fish exploring last time, and I missed some iron, apparently. How ironic it is that I just found some iron already, and I'm in my lit up part. Man, I wish this, I wish my my laptop ran this game better, but it doesn't. But no big deal. At least it does run it, and it's not a complete potato when it comes to running this game and that's all I really care about and I found loads of iron there's so much iron in this cave I am definitely gonna have a full set of iron armor in fact I already have enough to make a full set I'll just have to go back home and smelt it but I want to explore more and dead end looks like I am going back home and smelting that iron because I just found a dead end I'm sorry guys I probably hyped up that cave last time but that's all there was to it. We, we, we explored like half of it last time. Now let me just head back home, and I'll make, and I'll and I'll smelt my iron, and I'll make that full set of iron armor as well. That'd be nice. We just start the iron smelting. Once there's five done, I'll make an iron pickaxe and an iron helmet. You know, I'll take my stone sword too, in case I, in case my iron sword breaks or something. I think I'd best take some wood though. It's always good. It's always smart to take some wood. Because you never know what will happen. There, I have enough to make an iron pickaxe now. Two sticks. And then we'll make the pickaxe like so. I know how to play Minecraft. I'm just bad sometimes. And now, I gotta wait a bit for, for there to be five iron ready to be picked up from the furnace. And why is the door shutting on me? My gosh. How rude. And I guess I'll just do this while waiting. I don't really know what else to do. I mean, I don't want to do anything really time-consuming because I'm just waiting for five iron to smelt. I'll let the rest smelt on its own. And it should be done by now. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I have everything but a helmet, so... I'll make that helmet. I haven't taken any damage in this episode, so obviously my only damage piece of armor is the chest plate from, from an explosion last time. And I'll take this dirt with me. It's always good to have dirt on you, too. Dirt and wood are two things that you always need to have with you. You never know what will happen. You fall down a hole and need dirt. You could run out of tools and need wood to make more when you're in the middle of a cave. It really is smart to have a water bucket on you, too, because you could save yourself from falling long distances. You can also save yourself from burning in lava. Actually, I can go back and make a bucket now and get a water bucket. That would actually that would actually be pretty nice to have. Yeah, there should definitely be enough iron in the smelter to make a bucket by now. Yeah, there's more than enough. All, all of it's already done, actually. Just gotta make a bucket. I could make shears, but... Eh. None of these trees have grown yet. Actually, never mind, they have. But yeah, if you're wondering why I'm growing trees, I'm gonna do some tree farming off-camera. Looks like there's another cave here. Maybe we can actually do some cave exploration this episode, unless this is in the cave. Oh, wait! That looks promising. This doesn't, but this looks pretty promising. Already found iron and coal. 
We could make more torches if we run out. How far will this go? Will this go far or will it end soon? It ended. Too, it's a good thing I didn't get my hopes up too high. I, I would have been really disappointed if I was like, Oh my gosh, this might be an, an epic cave or whatever. But nah. I set my expectations a bit lower and I wasn't too disappointed. I still wish this was a good cave though. I need some real good resources to do some really good things in this world. And be productive and stuff. If I can get some diamond equipment, I can start my search for for killing the Enderman, getting Ender Pearls. I, I need to kill the Ender Dragon. That's one of the that's one of the quests I have it in mind. I feel like some of these experience orbs are looking kinda weird, I don't know why. Maybe it's just my game, I don't know. Oh, and there goes that pickaxe and a piece of diorite. This is why I took spare. This is exactly why I took spare. Because I knew that pickaxe would break. I knew it would break. And it happened. We'll get to some interesting stuff. Maybe we can do some world exploration like last time. Or maybe you guys like to see me build and gather resources. I don't know. But yeah, we've already went through all the nearby caves and tunnels and all that. So I'm just going to put this iron in the furnace. And then I guess I'll just start rowing the lands and try to find some new stuff to look out for. It looks like a lot of my trees have already grown. That's nice. And I want to make lots of torches. There we go. Torches. There we go. Alright, it's melting. I don't know why I'm on top of the chest. Okay, but we've done all the resource gathering and and all that crud already, so... I'm gonna go start exploring the land some more. Because I didn't do enough of that last time, I think. I just kind of ran, ar ran around and just did some weird things and the world glitched out and I don't know I went in this direction a little bit and in that direction last time I want to go up this way yeah I don't really know what's out this way and I think we'll find something cool I think I found a witch I don't know what I should do oh the, it's the witch sees me that's what I know oh yeah and the witches actually have a voice now that they actually have like like sound clips now and they drink potions of healing every time they get hurt so Oh, I killed it! I killed it! I killed the witch and I'm getting attacked. Oh, I have slowness too. I'm not going to be able to run away from this spider. How am I at running it? Or did it just lose interest? I don't know. Yeah, the witch gave me slowness. How on earth would I be outrunning a spider? Let me check, actually. Oh, probably a bad idea to look back. Ow, ow. I still have slowness? How much slowness does nothing give me? Should I take these guys on? I'll take you on. Come on, come on, let's go! Fight me, fight me! There we go, gotcha! Gotcha both! Got, got all of you! I killed them all. I don't know how I won that fight. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have no idea how I won that. I don't think I was doing pretty awful, but I won the fight somehow. And this is this is how you outsmart a skeleton. Never mind. You just gotta run up to them and kill them. Knock them into the invisible chunks. Come on, one v one me. One v one me. No, your friends aren't allowed to join. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh wow. Thank you, Zambi. Looks like I just cleared out a bunch of mobs. That, that was easier than expected. I thought I would have some trouble and start screaming or whatever, but that was pretty easy. And what the heck is this? My game is still acting weird. What? Oh, that's just unrendered. And whoa, look what I found. A ravine. That's going to have to have a whole ex episode dedicated to exploring that, though. I'm not exploring that in the midst of an episode. And look at all the squids. There's so many squids. And there's another skeleton over there. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you. Fight me. Oh. Not everything's rendered over here, so it's kind of glitching. I tried to render a lot of chunks in before I record, but apparently that never works. <laughs> Stuff ends up being unrendered anyway. I heard, I heard something that wasn't anything that I'm fighting right now. I think I just hear anything again. I don't know why that happens. That, that skeleton just killed a zombie. Come on. Gosh, these guys are smart. 
Why am I getting hungry every two seconds? Probably a bad idea to take on a skeleton gang. Oh, ow! Oh no. Never fight a skeleton in the water. They always win. Gosh, there was three spiders chasing me. I didn't even know. Wait, never mind. That's just two. I thought it was three, but one of them was a rose. I thought it was a spider. Every time I see a rose in the night, I mistake, I mistake it for a spider. Actually, they're called poppies now. I'm, I'm just used to calling them roses. They say never fight a skeleton in the water because they always win, but what about if a skeleton fights you in the water? Oh, I just got another bow. My sword broke and I got another bow. 1v1 me, right now. 1v1 me. There you go. I'm killing all sorts of mobs in this episode. I, I'm just going around killing mobs now, and I don't know. I haven't really had too much trouble. I mean, I had to run away once, but that, that was it. You only have to run away a few times. But I only had to run away once, surprisingly. I was strategically avoiding their attacks. I wasn't running away there. My gosh, these guys know how to gang up, though. Thankfully, they're not that strong and have a full set of iron armor. If I had no armor, I would have died long before now. Like, I would have died a while ago if I had no armor. The armor really saved my neck there. Oh my gosh, it's already a lot broken, too. Gosh. I've just been picking fights with mobs this episode. I haven't really done much else. I hope you guys don't mind just me picking fights and stuff. And I'm getting hungry every three seconds, I swear. Let's see how you deal with this. You deal with it pretty well. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of land to, land to explore. I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to cover throughout the entire series. I mean, whenever I go looking for a stronghold, I'm going to have to cover a lot of this land, because I, I have no idea where the nearest one will be. But yeah, as for right now, beginning of the series, I don't really have to record much. And Although we haven't done much this episode, I do think that... that oh my gosh! <laughs> I we haven't done much this episode, I do think we've recorded for long enough, so... Come on! Fight me! Fight me! We haven't done too much, but... I feel like that. Oh shoot! Oh, oh! I'm, it's getting bad now. All the lag and the damage. Take down the skeleton first. They can attack you from long range. No! No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Let me finish my outro. And oh my gosh, that one has a sword. Ha ha! Ow! No! 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 Half a heart hero. Half a heart. Whew. I got I barely went out of there unscathed. And it looks like the chunks for my land have unrendered again. There we go. I can see that cave from there. Render in, you butts. But yeah, anyway, since those mods were so rudely interrupting me, although we haven't done that much this episode, I do feel like we've been recording for long enough. So I'm gonna end this episode here. It might have been pretty uneventful, but so was part one, and you guys seem to love that, and all those mobs that were trying to kill me before are burning now. That's going to be it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That will hopefully be a lot more enjoyable. Happy hunting! I can't really scroll fast. I couldn't really scroll fast there, because I was in cinematic mode, and it kind of stopped my scroll on there for a bit, but... But I got out of cinematic mode and it's it's fine now. There's so many arrows in me and there's one on my knee again. Happy hunting for real this time, guys! Yeah!